Good morning everybody, how are we all? Welcome back to the vlog. Let's just ignore my hair because this needs a really good wash, but there's no point in washing it right now because I'm actually off to the gym. And I thought I would start this vlog here because we're gonna spend the weekend together because I like spending the weekend with you. So this is my first outfit of the day. I have on a pair of Gymshark leggings. Gymshark is my favorite thing to train in. Like they just fit you so well and really suck you in. My top is Nike. Truthfully, I have no Gymshark tops that are fresh, they're all in the wash, so this one is gonna do. And then I'm just gonna wear my Lululemon jacket over the top. For my shoes, I am going to wear my on running shoes. These are actually the ones that are in collaboration with Loewe. Look, can you see? They are so comfy and just, well, great for walking in. I do a lot of walking around London, but also running in as well. These were actually a little gift from Reese. He actually picked them up from Selfridges. Today, I plan on doing an hour uphill walk on the running machine well i might do 45 minutes then for the last 15 minutes i think i'm gonna run i am really trying to get myself back into my running era i was in it a number of years ago and i've really enjoyed it and i actually really miss it so i'm trying to get my fitness back up because i'd love to start running outside you know doing like 10 20k and really enjoying it let's go by the way i've been a little bit crazy this last week with ordering things Oh, I actually bought this stuff in a shop, but like ordering things online. I feel like my next video, my Thursday video, is going to be an unboxing. I haven't done one of those in a while. I really need to get myself a cute water bottle for the gym because this, it's not really cutting it, is it? Please do it. I 40 minutes up your walk. I ran for 20 minutes straight. I'm really proud of myself. Look how sweaty I am. If you can see the floor, let's just pretend that you can't because quite honestly, this place is an absolute state. <laughs> like I know I say it's messy in pretty much all of my vlogs, but at the moment it's just messier than ever. I can't even properly sit back on this chair because it's also covered in clothes. I also didn't wash my hair today because I saw a TikTok and I know we shouldn't believe everything we see online and especially on TikTok, but I saw a TikTok that said, if you wash your hair today, which is Saturday, the 10th of February, which is actually Chinese New Year, I believe, it's bad luck and it means you're washing away your wealth for the year. Or maybe it was your success. I can't remember which one it was, but there's lots of things that you apparently shouldn't be doing. Like you shouldn't be hoovering, you shouldn't wake your partner up, you shouldn't wash your hair, and I can't remember what the others were. I'm quite a superstitious person, so it was a good excuse not to wash my hair today, even though it really needs doing. So we're gonna have a day with me looking like an egghead. I'm just doing some very, very light makeup because we're actually gonna go to Whole Foods and get some dinner for tonight. I'm also, I think, gonna walk and get myself a matcha, but then we're gonna come home and we've got a lot, a lot of organizing and packing to do. I have to tell you all how proud I am of myself with the fact that I ran for 20 minutes today on speed 10 without stopping. I mean, I was on a running machine. I feel like running on a running machine is easier than running outside. My friend and I were having this discussion this morning and she thinks it's easier to run outside, but personally, I don't. But I ran for 20 minutes non-stop, which I am just like, can't believe I've managed to do that. Earlier on in the week, I think it was Monday, I ran for 15 minutes no stop and I'm trying to build up my stamina because actually years ago, believe it or not, I was a really, really good runner and I used to run like 10K on my lunch break. Like who the hell was that person? But I actually really used to enjoy running. I feel like when you get to a certain level of fitness, running becomes easy, which if you're unfit, like I am at the moment, that seems like it's impossible to run and actually enjoy it, but you can definitely get there. And I have been there before. It was just a number of years ago. I feel like when I look back, I was actually a good runner from school, like since I was super, super young, mainly long distance. And that was because I swam competitively when I was younger, which I have actually told you all about before. Um, I swam for many, many, many years. I used to compete in galas and go all over the country competing. But to be able to do that, you need to train, obviously. And I used to train 24 hours a week. Yeah, that's a lot, isn't it? Like a whole day of my week was dedicated to training so i would get up at like five in the morning i would train before school i would train after school i mean my poor mum and dad having to take me to the swimming pools every single day to train was just like dedication for them as well as me you know but because i swam so much it meant my stamina and like my fitness level was 
well, incredible. So when it came to running cross country at school, I was just so good at it because I was so fit. Where other kids would start to struggle, I actually had a few friends who I went to school with who also swam. Like by the end of the cross country race, it would just be us lot left. <laughs> and we used to find it kind of easy because we were just like so fit, like I say. Then I left school and I always did fitness classes and I used to still run. Um, and then I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> Like, who is this person? Who is this unfit person I became? I feel like moving to London made me feel like I didn't have the time to do things, which is kind of ridiculous because over the last few weeks, I've been getting up like, you know, at like 6am and making the time. And don't get me wrong, some days I've been exhausted and feeling like I probably should have an extra hour in bed instead of forcing myself to get up and move my body. But I feel so much better for it, like mentally. I just feel so much better. But anyway, this is a very long-winded way of me telling you why I'm running. But I just basically want to get back into running and I feel like it's something that I forgot how much I enjoyed. And I feel like when you're unfit, it isn't enjoyable because it's just really hard. But I know I can get to a stage where you feel like you can just run forever. And like, I remember how that felt. I remember going on runs and just enjoying the run, even if it was uphill. I wouldn't feel like I needed to stop. I felt like I could just run and run and run and I really want to get back to that. So I feel like it's nice that I've kind of set myself a little goal and Reese is also a really good runner and he's been running more just recently but he goes on like 10, 15k runs but I want to get to like a point where I can run with him and we're gonna be like that couple that run on the weekends. I mean don't you hate those kind of people? I am joking but like that is what we want to become like we want to just be able to go on nice long runs and like run to a pub you know and then have a drink and a roast dinner like that is my vibe. So I'll obviously keep you updated on my running journey you never know I might be running the London Marathon by the end of the year. Actually isn't the London Marathon in the summer? I don't know but I'm definitely not running it although do you know what? I feel like it would be a really good thing to do. Like, how good would that be to say that you ran the London Marathon? Maybe I should set that goal for myself. But I feel like this year is not the year. I need to get fit first. I am though nearly six weeks into this whole like healthier version of me because I started at the beginning of January. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I need to sort this table out because it's just shit everywhere. As I was saying, it has been about six weeks since I started this kind of healthier version of me trying to cut down with the takeaways trying to train a little bit more be more active get 10k steps in a day like those sorts of vibes nothing too intense but just getting my body moving and it's only been the last week that i would say i've started to see a difference in the way that my body looks it's taken a while like i feel like when i was younger in my early 20s well, like even mid-twenties, I would go to the gym three times and, you know, just eat a little bit healthier and I would look different. I've noticed now I'm 30, pushing 31, it definitely takes some more time. I love that there's eyelashes stuck to my wrist. How gross is that? My mum actually got me these heated eyelash curlers for Christmas and it's so good. It stops me from having to use my hairdryer as a heater because now I just have that curler. Genius. Well, that's going to be my makeup today. Really nothing too groundbreaking or spectacular. I just wanted to make myself look presentable enough to leave the house. And as it's Saturday, it's going to be busy out. So I just wanted to look half alive. I'm just looking at all of my coats and thinking we're going to have to sort all of those out when we come back. So many of them need to go. I just don't have the room. Do you know what one of my best buys ever was? Like ever, ever, ever in my entire wardrobe. Was this brown a duster coat which I got from Mango many years ago. I actually have two. The original one I bought from Barcelona, like I wanna say six, seven years ago. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it was like five or six years ago. I still have it, but this is like the updated version, which I probably bought maybe three or four years ago. But I have worn this, I can't even tell you how many times, like hundreds of times, okay? It looks nice dressed up. It looks nice every day, just over gym clothes. It's a coat that will never date. You can wear it winter, spring. I was gonna say you can wear it in summer. Not really, it's a bit hot, but then again, you know, UK summer is never really that warm. Although let's speak into existence that we are gonna have the hottest, loveliest summer on record this year. But no, it's just a really, really great coat. And every year, Mango bring it back out. And even though this one of mine is old, they still do 
exactly the same one on their website. So I will actually link it down below if any of you want it. And everything I always feature is always linked down below, including all of my makeup and most things you see in my vlogs. Link below. But no, this is just a fantastic coat. Look, it's belted as well. I just love it. It's so easy to wear. I'm wearing a size small. I do think it fits quite oversized. But I just wanted just to talk about this coat. It needed a moment because it is, I think, probably the best clothing item in my wardrobe. Perfume today, I'm actually going to do Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which looks like this. And it smells incredible. Like you can definitely smell the cherry, but it's sweet. Yeah, it's got a little bit of like a masculine scent to it as well. Like it's so unique. You need to go in and try it. I also feel like you can smell almonds in it. And I really love like an almondy scent. I feel like I need to redo my bun. It's kind of gone a little bit wonky. Even though it's really cloudy, it's actually really bright. I feel like I need sunglasses on, but I don't have any. I just stepped in a puddle that splashed all up my leg. For goodness sake. For February, it's actually really quite warm at the moment, which is very strange, I have to say. Look at all these beautiful flowers. Look, I always show you guys flower stands. What are these? Is it interesting? This is given spring. So are the tulips. Oh, so pretty. This is such a lovely store in here. It's Bailey and Sage. Also, the little trolleys. I would have loved those as a kid. Look at all of the cheese. Wow. Yeah, this is such a lovely, lovely food store. Um, I come in here quite often, actually. So everything is so nice. Like, look at all the meats and all of the olives, the fish. It's just so lovely. Just remembered, I saw this bagel recipe last night and I'm gonna make this for my lunch. It looks so good. I need smoked salmon, because it's a smoked salmon bagel. Look at this gorgonzola, I think it's gorgonzola. Yeah, look at that, that is my dream. I'm sorry, I could eat this entire pot with a spoon. Like, that's my favorite thing ever. Free type of mushroom going. You've got your strawberries. And look how nice this section is with the fresh tomatoes and the vegetables. All I got from Bailey and Sage was smoked salmon because I wanted to get the cream cheese from there, but they didn't have any. So, so far with my bagel, I just have smoked salmon. But now we're on to Whole Foods. I feel like I'm gonna do a tour of supermarkets today. <laughs> Made it to Whole Foods. <laughs> it's very similar to Bailey and Sage, but it's just bigger. I feel like these bagels are gonna be perfect for what I'm making, so like proper American bagels. Like, look at these bad boys. And I'm making fajitas tonight, so we need guacamole. They do this really lovely tomato salsa, which is so good. It's like fresh tomatoes. It's delicious. Look at all the cakes they also do in here. I actually got my nan one of these when I went out to go and see her. I have just carried this heavy ass bag all the way home. By the way, this tote bag is from Aloe. I mean, it's got it written all over it, quite literally. But it's such a good like tote because it's so big, it carries a ton of stuff and it was free i mean well yeah it was free basically they did this thing when they first opened the store on the king's road but if you spent 250 quid they might still be doing it i'm unsure but if you spent 250 quid they gave you this free bag and i've used it loads anyway let me show you what i got from the shops and then we're gonna make some food because i'm so hungry lettuce peppers tortillas two different types of tomatoes cucumber my favorite chocolate lint with a touch of sea salt Delicious. Beetroot, black beans. Do you say guacamole like guaca? Or do you say guaca? Guaca. Guaca, guaca, I'm unsure, but anyway, this. Tomato salsa, mayo, Philadelphia. Two packs of prawns, sweet potato fries for tonight. Hummus, red onions, smoked salmon, fajita mix, and bagels. Let's make some lunch. Bagel one, I just made Reese. Oh my God, I don't want to drop it. Let me put it on a plate. A cheese, avocado, double egg, and tomato sauce bagel. Stunning vibes for him. This really looked like the biggest mess when I was making it, but here's the finished product. Let's give it a taste test. Mm. It's delicious. It's like an American bagel. Sorry about the noise in the background. Reese has got the football on, as always. Good morning, guys. Today is a whole new day, and I feel like I did I leave you yesterday after the smoked salmon bagel. I think I did. We ended up actually going out last night. The fajitas never happened. I didn't take you with me because we just went to Soho House, and you can't film in there. So I didn't take you along, which is really terrible of me. But um, we didn't drink or anything like that. We just had some dinner, and then we walked all the way home 
from Greek Street, which is kind of a bit of a trek. So we've got our steps in, which was good. And, um, and yeah, today is currently Sunday and it's actually a really lovely day. I've already been to the gym. Honestly, look at me. And yeah, we've been to the gym. Haven't got too much planned today, but what I have just gone and got is this giant box of more boxes. I'm actually gonna try and start putting away some of my clothes today. Um, if you've never watched the vlogs before, you might, have I mentioned it in this vlog? I might not have done. But I've mentioned it in a lot of vlogs recently, but I am moving very soon. And even though I've started to box up some stuff, there's a lot more that needs to be boxed up. Like, let me tell you, I've got a lot to do. Um, so yeah, I actually went to one of those, you know those big yellow storage unit places? I think they're actually called the big yellow storage unit. So they have them all over the UK, I think. So I went there and they actually do these boxes that are quite hard wearing. And, um, you can put your stuff in. So it says on the front of this, I went for the large multi-pack and it says there should be eight small boxes, 10 medium, five large, three rolls of tape, one tape gun, a marker pen, and 10 meters of bubble wrap. It's quite good really. I mean, this cost, I think it was like 95 pounds. You know, it wasn't the cheapest thing ever, but I feel like you got quite under a lot for 90 quid. I think I'm gonna get like a proper removal company to come in and take all the big stuff out because I feel like that's gonna be really hard work. But I thought these boxes would be good for my clothes and accessories and things like that. Wow, there's a lot of bubble wrap. How good that you get this tape done with it though. How handy is this gonna be? Even for just like sending parcels myself, I feel like I'm gonna use this loads. Wow. So is there gonna be instructions or is this meant to be self-explanatory? So do you reckon you just sort of like fold it in? Will the seller tape hold it, do you think? I mean, we made some progress. I also made myself a bagel, the same thing, by the way, that's not my knee click in it, it's the bubble wrap. <laughs> but um, I made myself the same bagel as yesterday because I was just craving it. It's so blooming good. I needed it again today. Mm. I just opened up my cupboard and then I remembered I forgot to show you this. But remember this antler suitcase that I told you all about? I got it not even that long ago. When did I get it? I think it was December, was it? I already had one before. I love them because they're such big suitcases. They fit loads in. But on the first trip, my last one had its wheel broken off. Sorry if you already know this story, but the wheel came off the first ever trip. I continued to use it because it's a great suitcase. I did email them, but they said they wouldn't replace the wheel, they wouldn't replace the suitcase. Anyway, I decided in the end to get myself a new suitcase. I think it was like two years later because I was sick of the dodgy wheel. And after the first trip, I took this suitcase on, the exact same thing happened. It lost a wheel again. I've actually forgotten to get in touch with the company, with Antler, this is the brand here. I've forgotten to just email them and just say, look, it's happened again. Like, I actually want a new case this time, but how bad is that? I don't know if it's just really unlucky with my case, because they really are great suitcases in terms of like the amount they fit and how they feel. But like, how did that happen twice? I don't know. Anyway, I just got this out of the cupboard because I'm going to actually put a rail, I've got a really long rail in the cupboard. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to start putting some of my clothes from my dressing room onto here. And we're going to get rid of loads of stuff. Why did I think the rail that's been in my cupboard was twice the size that it actually is? This actually <laughs> looks tiny. Oh, I thought I was going to put most of my clothes on this. Why did I think it was double the length? This is a lot of my summer stuff, like my blazers and things that I put on the rail. Do you know what? Seeing how full this box is from those few clothes is making me realise this is going to be a really big job. This is what we're currently dealing with in my dressing room. Honestly, I can't even show you the floor because it's just so embarrassing but I think what I'm going to focus on first is the coats that I'm going to put onto that rail out there and I'm going to try and go through them keep some and some need to go um then we'll move on to knitwear blazers I still need to leave some stuff out because it's not like I'm moving tomorrow you know but I need to really really get the most of it put into boxes I feel the most of it that even makes sense hopefully it did I've also got stuff in the cupboards as well and I've got more summer stuff up there oh my goodness guys <laughs> help me oh i can't wait to wear this again do you remember i got this 
in autumn. It's from COS, like a little Cape Mac. How nice is this going to look in spring? Oh, I almost forgot I had that. Well, I definitely did forget I had that, but yeah, love it. I remember the mango coat I told you was the original mango coat, the one that I got from Barcelona. This is it. So it's very similar, but the pockets are like very visible where the ones on the other duster I have, the pockets are hidden. But it's a little bit of a darker sort of orangey brown. But this was the original duster coat. And this is very old now at this point. It's almost turning vintage. <laughs> All jokes aside, it's not. But yeah, this was a great buy. I really love this trench coat. It's full leather, kind of given matrix. I got it from Oasis a couple of years ago, but I just... I just don't wear it enough, you know? It's such a beautiful coat, but just doesn't get any love in my wardrobe. Plus I have this Topshop leather coat, which I got years ago. It is real leather as well. And um, I think it's from their like premium range. Remember Topshop used to have that other range? What was it called? Stuff there was a little bit more luxe, um, but this is kind of like in fashion now. It's almost like a washed out leather jacket. And it's quite cool, should I try it on? Let me show you. Like it's really oversized, but it wasn't actually meant to be oversized, but I got it in a size, well, like five sizes bigger than my regular size. And um, yeah, I think it's given like Hailey Bieber. You know, I basically look identical to Hailey Bieber. Like if you saw me out in real life, I think you would actually get confused. You'd think, is that Hailey? Oh no, it's Freya. They basically look like twins. I am joking for anyone that doesn't think I am joking. I bloody wish I look like Hailey Bieber. But yeah, how cool is this? the knitwear I mean it's on the floor in a mountain that you just saw me get cooler by standing on top of but I'm now gonna do my blazers And a very happy Monday to you all, although it might not actually be Monday when you're watching this video, but it is for me. And I am up bright and early, although it is actually 9 a.m. now, but I have been up since 6 a.m. So I've had a very early start. I'm currently sat on a very gorgeous street in London, in Chelsea, to be precise, and I'm waiting for my assistant Isabella because we're about to shoot a campaign, which is exciting. The skies are so blue, the sun is so bright and it feels like it's going to be a great week although i actually do think i looked at the weather I, I avidly look at the weather forecast because it's always better to film or shoot content when the sun is out but yeah today is actually meant to be the only sunny day for the foreseeable look let me show you the weather forecast can you see that like one day of sun and the rest is rain and cloud that's a bit rubbish but to be honest with you all i'm going to be doing for the next week is packing my apartment up because that's where i left you last night do you know what in the end i just thought to myself i need to turn the camera off and i just need to focus and get on with it because i've mentioned it before but sometimes when i film it slows me up because i start talking and i'm just conscious of the camera so i turned it off and i got most of my clothes i say most kind of lightly but i got all of my summer stuff away my coats my jumpers i got i got all of the stuff out of my wardrobe basically other than my new stuff and the things that i'm going to be keeping out for the next week but it took me hours and i think the whole thing has made me realize how like long and hard it's going to be to completely empty that apartment even last night i wanted to get a marker pen because i lost the marker pen i was using i mean it's somewhere in my apartment but i couldn't find it and i knew i had another one in a cupboard and when i opened the cupboard in the kitchen even that is full to the brim with shit and i'm like honestly how have i accumulated so much stuff in three years and the joke is i do actually see myself as someone that like is quite good at getting rid of stuff like i throw things away you know like i'm not someone that hoards stuff but I somehow just seem to have got a lot of stuff. I also did a really good sort out of my clothes. 
Um, so I'm getting rid of loads of stuff because I feel like if I haven't worn it for, let's say, a year or two, like if I haven't worn it for a whole season, I'm just saying you need to go. Like I'm not carrying it over to the next place because it just takes up room and something I really want to do is just have kind of like less stuff but better quality of stuff and that's something I've been really trying to work on but um but yeah it's a good time to kind of really clear out and move on and then for all of my furniture like all of the big stuff so my sofa coffee table bed I mean you know like all the standard furniture I've got so many mirrors in that apartment as well but I'm going to inquire I need to get a quote off of a removal company for them to kind of like take it from one place to another because I feel like that is going to be a nightmare getting that up and down in a lift it's all systems go and I'm actually not feeling too stressed this week I know in the last vlog I had a few tears and I was you know had a bit of a breakdown but I feel like sometimes in life you need to have that moment you need to have the cry have the breakdown and then you kind of move on from it and you feel okay again I'm sure there's going to be plenty more tears to come but right now I'm feeling fine which is good but I also wanted to say before I wrap this vlog up thanks so much for all of your lovely messages about my nan in the last video I did mention in a previous video that she's recently learnt to read the comments on YouTube she didn't even know YouTube videos had comments because she watches my videos on her TV and she, you know you can't see the comments and um but anyway she's recently learned to look at them on her phone and so she read all of your comments in that video well, she reads them all the time now in every video but especially that one obviously because she was in it and she rang me in the week bless her and she said that she'd read a comment that said she looked so glamorous she was like you know it's been years since i felt really glamorous so to read that people think i'm still glamorous just made me so happy this is literally what my nan was saying on the phone so yeah honestly thank you so much for not just watching my videos but for being so lovely, so kind, so supportive to me. I can't thank you all enough and I love you all very much. So on that note, I hope you all have a wonderful week, whatever you're up to. Stay safe, work hard, have fun, and I will hopefully see you next Monday. Oh, actually, I should hopefully see you on Thursday because this Thursday we've got an unboxing video. So if you're into designer unboxings, I'll see you on Thursday. If you're not, I'll see you in the vlog next monday lots of love guys take care bye bye